Hello lovelies, this is my second vlog, a relaxing one with autumn vibes that I filmed over multiple days in September and October. I'm trying out a different format, more of a traditional vlog style where I share glimpses into my studio life, like my typical time-lapse watercolor paintings, but also, and this part is new, share a view into my personal life in Switzerland. So grab your favorite blanket, get comfortable, unwind, and let's start with a chat together. Hey, hey, welcome back. <sighs> I'm wondering if you're kind of feeling like I am just like you just need a little bit of a break you just need a few calm hours to enjoy a nice hot cup of tea and cozy up and enjoy some candlelight maybe some reading just really dialing everything back a little that's how I feel right now so I'm gonna do that and I am having a little bit of I wouldn't say like a crisis of confidence, but a crisis of focus. Um, kind of just questioning what type of illustrations I want to do. So I had created some fall illustrations, fall pattern of like a pumpkin and pumpkin pie spice and uh, chestnuts and things like that. And um, one, I enjoyed it so much, and two, I feel like I got better feedback on that kind of illustration than on my picture book illustrations that I've been working on for a long time. And so I'm trying to figure out my next steps as far as, um, actually, let me just check if my tea is ready, one sec. Tea still needs to cool, but everything's better after um, a little snack, isn't it? So where was I? I've been debating for what feels like weeks now between pursuing with consistent focus all the picture book illustration goals that I had set for myself or focusing more on food illustration, illustration for, in German it's called uh, Sachbücher. Like they can be books for kids as well, but they're focused more on um, factual learning than on a story. That's something that I've always been drawn to. And so it also seems to be what comes most naturally to me when I paint. And so the big question for me is, if I pivot or I try to focus on both of these areas, then am I letting myself down? Like in the sense that am I, basically am I giving up? Am I losing focus? Am I switching gears in a way that is a negative thing? Because there have been many areas in creativity and art in my life that I've tried and when it was too hard and I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, I would give up. So is this one of those situations where I just need to put in many more years? Is that something I should continue to focus on? and build the strength or should I lean into something that I feel like the strength comes very naturally which is more of this painting of you know food or maybe like a botanical kind of illustration something that is reflective of the real world even though it's not a realistic painting it's something that exists it's not something that I have to create in my imagination um, so yeah, I, I'm torn back and forth between whether it's a good thing to pivot or if it is better to stick only to picture book illustration and you know that I'm taking the easy way out if I pivot at this point. So yeah, it's been kind of an internal struggle figuring this out and so I've decided this weekend, you know, just get on with it. Just paint something that brings you joy without there being a giant story or meaning behind it but you know like I did there it's just a really pretty cup of tea that I painted and people really liked it 
So yeah, I am gonna give myself that out now. It's not a final decision. It is a temporary thing because I feel like between this back and forth, I'm getting stuck. Like I'm doing neither at this point, right? So, oh, am I gonna do picture books or am I gonna do more editorial illustration? Well, girl, you're doing nothing. While you're fighting with yourself in your head, you're doing exactly none of it. So just pick something, keep moving, and you can redecide every day if you feel like you're getting off track. So that's what I've decided to do once I've had this cup of tea, which is still cooling. It was so hot. I'm going to get back to my desk and I'm going to um, paint two things that really make me happy just thinking about them and they are Halloween-ish. So um, if you stick around to the end of the video, you will see the completed ones and of course I will post them on Instagram as well. All right, well let me know if you have any thoughts about which route to choose an illustration, one for me, kind of what appeals to you from the illustrations you've seen from me so far, and then also if you've been through something similar in your life, whether it be with art, whether it be with something else, you know, how do you decide? And, and sometimes I think you have the struggle between your gut, and your heart, and your brain, like what is going to win? And I don't know yet, but I've decided I just need to keep moving. All right, so we have left the house to go do what? To go vote. All right, let's do it. As you can see, we have moved into the art studio. I'm wearing something different, something very cozy, but it is another day. So yesterday we went and we voted and I'm really happy that we got to do that. And we ran some errands, you know, getting groceries. Um, and I actually worked on editing this video that you're watching right now. So that was basically the whole day done and I never made it into the art studio. But today I'm here and before I start working on those fall pieces that I teased a little earlier, I wanted to give you a real behind the scenes of what my quote unquote art studio is like. So you've always seen kind of this view here of my desk, right? So this is nothing new. But real talk, I don't have some incredible private art studio. You know, I don't have a beautiful garden, cottage, or anything else that sometimes you see online and just think of the dream. Well, I feel lucky enough that I have a space that I can work in that is dedicated. So I have a desk and I have a corner and it's nice and quiet and I love spending sometimes my entire weekends in here, but definitely hours at a time on a Sunday like today. But it's not an incredible, huge art studio. Nah, let's look at what's around me, really, okay? So it's like our home gym. Uh, we got some other things going on here, right? Like, it's, this is real. I mean, look, look at these clothes in the background, okay? This is, this is the reality. So I have finally figured out how to attach my cell phone that I'm recording with to the ring light. Oh my goodness, this took me weeks. Uh, I was missing basically a little piece and I finally found it so that I can secure it. So hopefully you will get a better, less shaky angle from now on 
and I just noticed you can see the trampoline in the background but hey you already know what this room looks like so I'm just gonna go with it for this time and rearrange the camera better for the next round of videos so anyway you know I'm gonna be doing two fall illustrations today but I need a long chunk of time like once I get started with them I just want to be able to keep going for hours kind of into the evening. So before I jump into that, I want to get my head back on straight, get clear on what I'm trying to do. And so you will see it's missing here. There used to be like a month by month plan of what I need to achieve in which week on which days to meet my illustration goals. And I feel like it's like all thrown up into the air. One, because like I told you in the video earlier, I am a little unclear on where I want to go with illustration long term. And I also feel like really there's like, there's a direction and I'm kind of scared of going with it, if that makes sense. So there's like, I know what I want to do. I know what my heart says. And then there's like what I think I should do you know the struggle. I'm sure some of you have that kind of experience in your life. So it's, it's not that uncommon. Anyway, because of that and because I'm not going to go into details, but I had a health scare that lasted about a month and luckily everything looks like it's going to be okay. But that did take me away from my plan for a month. So I do have to recalculate, replan, reassess, figure out what I want to achieve until the end of the year and how am I going to do that. So I will let you watch a little bit of how that planning looks like. It's very old school, but it does help me to then have that on the wall and to be able to know what I need to do step by step. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I will finally get to paint it. Million and one little post-its. So what is nice about manually looking at all these different tasks and what I had planned and putting them back into my backlog is while I'm doing this, that question of what do I want to focus on the next few weeks or months? What kind of illustration do I want to do? It's really crystallizing. The, the answer is crystallizing and that is really exciting. So I, well, I hope you'll stick around even if I'm not focusing on picture book illustration, but there are two areas that I really want to focus on the next few weeks as I'm looking at this. So one is going to be more kind of like food illustration or some kind of uh, decor, decorative things, uh, patterns, that kind of thing. And then there is a big kind of project that I have had in mind for Christmas. So that is uh, not only the vlog content, but also a mailing that I really, really, really want to do. And it's for me very ambitious to get it done. So I think those are the two things I'm going to focus on.
Now it wouldn't be fair to end this fall time vlog without sharing this with you, which is a few impressions of our overnight stay in Pontresina, which is in a different part of Switzerland with completely different architecture and different nature. And this is the real highlight I wanted you to see. This is on the train ride back from Pontresina to where we live. And it is nothing short of breathtaking. Very important, this was between the first and the second wave of Corona, so we were able to travel, but also we made sure to keep everyone around us and ourselves very safe. To give the next bit context, here's a few photos of our apartment in San Francisco where we had mid-century modern, glossy, metal, clean line kind of furniture. And then you have, what is this? This is why we went to Fantasina. This is a piece of handcrafted traditional Swiss woodworking and we've absolutely fallen in love with it. There's a place and a time, just like this incredible closet that we have in our apartment and I found at the local Swiss Goodwill and it's from 1772 and that just blows my mind in the most amazing way. That's all for today. Let me know if you like this new format and see you next time.